going on everyone? I got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm discussing Adam Kay's new film Vice. It stars Christian Bale as Dick Cheney and this film explores Dick Cheney's rise to power and his decline in power as well. It really dictates a lot of parts of his life and where his rises came and his declines went. This is a movie I was really looking forward to, one of the most notable reasons being Adam McKay directed The Big Short. I love The Big Short. I think that film was fantastic. It was a dark comedy, but also just packed with so much information and information needed for the world. And Vice does that same exact thing. I would go as far as to say Vice is a stronger directed film from Adam McKay, and it's a very strong and effective film at that. Equivalent Vice to being a film that feels like you're sitting on the couch with your phone out going through social media with tons of news coming out of it and you also have fox news or cnn and news on television and you're getting all this information all at once and it's just hitting you and feeling overwhelmed your eyes are getting tired you're getting a little drowsy but it's all effective and needed and vice is equivalent to that you get so much information throughout this whole entire film and they do nice little effective things that like he did within the big short where he would cut to a celebrity cameo and have them explain something, there are moments in this film where they do that. Not much as cutting, but there's, for instance, a scene at a dinner table where it's Dick Cheney and some of his board members, and they're sitting there discussing, and the waiter comes over and starts reading off the menu and what's to eat. But it's not food. They're going over, like, prison terms and certain terms of war. And it's insane because at first you're kind of like, oh, okay, wait, that that's what we're doing? I love it. And there's a couple different instances throughout the whole entire film where they do that, where they go through those dark comedy routes, but it makes you understand what's going on. Because again, this is a film that you have to pay attention to. This is a film that you have to sit there and concentrate on. And if you don't, you're going to get a little bit lost. This film requires all your attention. And I love that Adam McKay doesn't sugar spoon or pour a little bit of candy in the jar and give it to you and feed you one by one. No, he wants you to pay attention. And that is why Vice is one of the strongest films of this year. Also one of the strongest films of this year due to the fact of, again, not just the direction from Adam McKay, but the excellent script that elevates the story and the way and the stuff that you learn about Dick Cheney and just all the smart satirical things that he just throws in here. Adam McKay is a very vocal person. He's always been known to have one of the strongest kind of writing minds and he is easily able to tie it into this. McKay also gets some great, if not excellent performances from every single person in here. Here's the thing. I knew who was in this movie. This movie started and I completely forgot about anything else in the world, but just Dick Cheney in front of me. That is crazy because I didn't see Christian Bale once. This is, I will go as far to say Christian Bale's best performance of his career. And it's going to make a very intriguing Oscar Best Actor lineup because when I saw Bohemian Rhapsody, I said, Malik's going to get it. I don't know now. I, I think that every single actor has come to play this year. You got Viggo Mortensen, you have Malik, you have Cooper, and now you have Bale, which I'm going to say this, I think Bale's going to just shove everyone out of the way and get that award. Not just because of the prosthetics, he really does embody Dick Cheney, and Amy Adams should be accommodated for her fantastic performance in here as Dick Cheney's wife, Leah Cheney. She is insane. She's insanely good in this film. And it is to the point where, again, you don't see Amy Adams. You see Dick Cheney's wife. She should be accommodated to as a nomination. Uh, Sam Rockwell plays George Bush in here, and he's really good. He's not in it as much as I was hoping he would be, but he's still really good. Steve Carell's a knock out of the park as well. And every single other performance that comes into play is great. But really, it's Bale and Amy's show in here. They are excellent. This is definitely a must-see for people who are into politics, who love these kind of satirical dark comedies that really do tackle heavy, heavy events, and you get an informative piece out of it. Again, I don't know how much is true and how much is not. They do say this in the early parts of the movie, but you do learn a lot of different terms, just like the Big Short does, and it leaves you to want to investigate after the movie. Again, lots of information coming at you. It's really like you're sitting on the couch watching TV and on your phone just getting drowsy from all this stuff it throws a lot of messages at you and it throws a lot of stuff at you but it's one of those informative pieces that are not just informative but also entertaining vice accomplishes that in all heavy categories 
I loved Vice. I thought Vice was fantastic. It's definitely a great movie that I do recommend. A little too long, dragged a little bit towards the end, but that shouldn't worry you at all. This is definitely a film worth seeing. So with all I said, I'm going to give Vice an A-. minus. You know what you guys' thoughts are on Vice. Do you guys like this film? Do you not? Do you like the big short? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. And of course, guys, if you guys are new, make sure to hit up Sandwich on Films also down below because right down there, you guys can get into advanced movie scenes. You can check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. But guys, of course, until next time, stay classy. <laughs>